Hello, I'm Andrew Tolley from Taylor Street Baristas in Brighton and today we're going to look at all the components that go into making the perfect flat white. So what makes a great coffee? Well, a great coffee, you have to start with the best ingredients. So that's coffee, that's water, and that's often milk. Speciality grade beans have a discernibly better taste. Um, we buy them from some of the UK's and Europe's and even um, America's best roasters. And they, the coffees are roasted light, light so that we can taste the flavors of the origin. Coffee is very similar to wine, and with wine we all know that uh, terroir is very important and terroir contributes a lot to how the coffee ends up tasting. So with coffee, it's exactly the same thing. So a Kenyan coffee tastes different to a Guatemalan coffee, which is different from a Costa Rican coffee, and so on. So coffee is essential. Um, next thing you want to do is have it freshly roasted. So all our coffee, we know the roast date on it. We like to roast it, and then we like to age it for about seven days. We drink it between seven and 21 days from roast. Um, next thing that's important is the grinding. So we have um, flat burr grinders or, or conical burr grinders, um, both work well. We um, grind every single coffee we make to order. So you order the coffee, we grind it for you. We never grind it beforehand. Um, the freshness of the grinder is paramount to a high quality tasting coffee. We then um, make the coffee with um, a lot of different variables uh, to mind. So, Temperature, time, and turbulence, all the three T's are very important. So we control the brew water temperature. Um, at the moment, for a, a Brazilian coffee we're using, we're working at about 93 degrees Celsius. Um, and then the uh, turbulence is the pressure. So with an espresso machine, we're looking at about nine bar of pressure on a commercial machine. And then the time, the time changes depending on the recipe, but for a ballpark, look at about 25 seconds. The next ingredient that we're really worried about is the water. The water is essential to making good coffee. It does two things with an espresso machine. One is it stops it from scaling up, so it'll make it last longer. The second thing is it makes your coffee taste incredible. When you don't have the right quality water, you will not have a good coffee. So um, water straight from the tap, it mutes the flavors in the coffee. It will make it taste stale and dull. Um, water with high bicarbonates like Avian will also make your coffee taste very stale. We um, have a special filter that we use um, in, the, in the shops here. If you're making coffee at home, I recommend the Waitrose Essential Water. It's got a high magnesium content, uh, reasonable calcium content, and a total dissolved solids or, or dry residue of about 100. Yep. So once you've got your um, espresso extracted beautifully, then the next thing to worry about is the milk. With the milk, we our aim is to create a sort of silky, creamy mouthfeel, and that requires uh, foaming the milk, so creating a nice foam, and then heating the milk to your desired drinking temperature. Some like it hotter, some like it colder, it's entirely up to you. Um, once we've steamed the milk by introducing air gently at the beginning, we then um, have to pour it carefully onto the espresso. You'll notice um, in the better cafes around town that the baristas can all pour latte out. It's basically um, a sign that they've spent many, many hours wasting many, many litres of milk and many, many good shots of espresso um, perfecting that skill. But it's also a sign that they care about the coffee that they're making for you and it tends to taste better. So let's now watch our head barista, Rob, um, make you the perfect flat white. Hello, welcome to Taylor Street Baristas in Brighton. This is Rob, our head barista, and he's going to show you how to make the perfect flat white. Uh, Taylor Street Baristas in Brighton won the best flat white in the UK award last year. So we always grind the coffee fresh, tamp it level, make sure it's nicely distributed in the basket, flush the screen so it's nice and clean, load the porter filter, and extract into a cup. We're aiming for a recipe, 17 grams of freshly ground coffee with an espresso weight of 36 grams. 
Rob being a finely and highly tuned barista is uh, aiming for a 30 second extraction time here. He's uh, put a little bit of air in the milk to make it creamy and silky and then he's uh, heated it up to the desired drinking temperature, which is about 50 degrees. If it's much hotter than that, it loses some of its sweetness. Much cooler than that and it tastes a bit like slightly warm milk. It's now pouring a beautiful little pattern. We're going for a wave heart. Very nice, Rob. Perfect for the wife.